Hey guys, I wanted to come live and do a, a quick little uh, video for everybody on uh, collecting eggs uh, from the North of Rankius, uh Gunthrai uh, Zanzibar. Uh, the way I do it um, is different than the way everybody else does it. Uh, maybe similar. So there's no one way that, that fits all. But So I just want to go over this. Uh, after uh, about two to three weeks of having uh, the peat moss in a bowl, um, I go ahead and uh, open the lid. And then I, I like to stir it around. Um, that way it kind of breaks it up a little bit. Uh, the eggs are uh, heavier, so they, they tend to sink to the bottom quicker. So I stir it up a little bit. And inside of my containers, I have little lead weights uh, to help hold the container down so it doesn't float up uh, when it's in the tank. So I take those out. Glass bowl probably works much better, for sure, but it's all right. So after mixing it up really good, you want to use a fine uh, mesh net. I use a brine shrimp net. Uh, it works really well. And then uh, you're just going to dump the peat moss. I use peat moss. You can use coconut fiber as well. Um, either way works really well. So then I, I take and I dump it into the brine shrimp net. And then what you're going to do once it's in the brine shrimp net is, uh, and you can use, um, I know it sounds funny, but you could use ladies uh, stockings or you can use cheesecloth. Um, the brine shrimp net for me just works really well. I twist it and then I squeeze as much water out of it as I can get by squeezing it. Once I've gotten all that uh, water squeezed out, I kind of break it up with my hands so it becomes more... Uh, uh, broke up and loose and then what I do is I go ahead and I take a piece of newspaper and I take the uh, peat moss and I put it onto the newspaper like this and then I go ahead and uh, kind of flatten it out a little bit and then I roll it into the newspaper and like I said everybody does it differently uh, this is just the way I do it it was the way I was taught um, 35 years ago so uh, there's actually an egg right there. I don't know, it's hard to see it, but it's right there. So then what I'll do is I'll wrap this up. I'll put a piece of tape on it and if you're doing multiple uh, eggs from multiple fish you want to make sure you write on it so you don't forget what they are <laughs> and I like to put the the date on it uh, and that way I don't forget and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and let this sit for a few hours and then uh, and then I'll go back through it and open it up 
and I'll show you what I do with it then. So after I dry it out uh, for a few hours in the newspaper, the newspaper will help absorb some more of the moisture that's in the peat moss. I go ahead and I put it into a uh, Ziploc bag and label it so you don't forget what's in it. And, the, and I put the uh, put in water date. Uh, so this one is the bottom of the tank and it came um, uh, from 2-2-20. Uh, so I'll put it back in the water in about three months. Um, so it's fairly dry. It's uh, it, you definitely don't want it too awfully wet, and you don't want it to be um, you, you don't want it to be too dry, and you don't want it to be too wet. Everybody says kind of like pipe tobacco, but I still haven't figured out what that is. So I just dry it out just enough to where I feel like it's good. So then. Um, in about three months, uh, we'll stick this back in water. I like to try to keep all my eggs at about 75 degrees. It seems to give me the best hatch rate. Uh, and that can vary from uh, species to species. Uh, some of them take two months to incubate. Some of them take up to six months to incubate. Um, on these, I like to do about three months. Uh, it seemed to get a, a, a fairly well uh, hatch rate out of them. And then what I'll go ahead and do is, after I put them back into the water, I'll take the peat moss back out after I get all the babies out, and then I'll go ahead and dry it back out, just like I did the first time. Um, and I'll dry it out and then put it away for another month. And that way, if there's any eggs that didn't hatch out, they will, uh, they will hatch out. So I hope this video helps. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to respond post, text, whatever. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Bye.